Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today is a quick and easy guide to the beta for Dragon Ball Multi Project or Dragon Ball Project Multi. It depends on where you're from. The translation will be different. So first things first, we're just going to dip into all the mechanics of the game, starting from the menu. And then after that, we're just going to dip straight into the gameplay and just kind of like mess around with it there. Uh, I will explain some of the gameplay stuff at the end, but that's like towards the end of where you guys probably already could understand how most of the stuff will work in the game. But the most important stuff is to actually understand the menu, understand the drop stuff, how, drop rates, understand the currencies in the game, how to use them, what does everything mean and all that good stuff. And I'm here to explain it for you. All right. So this beta is only going to be available from now all the way until the third of the next month so if you guys are not a part of the beta or you know y'all have already seen this but it's like way too late from now then you know too late uh sucks but let's go ahead and dip into it so over here we do have the bandai linking and stuff like that you do want to bandai link your id even if it's not going to transfer anything over depends on what transfers over and what doesn't they didn't really make that incredibly clear uh through like uh, the news and stuff like that as you can see, they have the news over here. So if there's ever a server maintenance or anything like that, you can see it from there. Or you can join their Discord. They do have a Discord available. Just check through the Twitter. All right. The rest of this is pretty much self-explanatory. If you are going to be playing, obviously, you could, be, uh, you could hide your status and everything. And uh, if you uh, freaking... If you do send your thing to somebody else, then they'll be able to see it from here, whether through requesting or pending. Uh, customization over here literally just has to do with just stamps. Oh yes, yeah, some quick settings I would love to explain real quick before anyone gets started. If you are someone who does uh, have some problems with like performance and stuff like that, I would obviously like just like mess with this. Uh, one, if you're a YouTuber, turn off music before you get copyrighted. You want borderless window. Uh, you want whatever resolution your computer is. You want your brightness wherever you want it. Screen shake, you can stay on. Emphasis outlines, all this stuff's fine. What matters is the graphics. Your frame rate depends on the frame rate of your monitor. V-Sync, you always want to turn that thing off because it's so trash. Uh, everything else is low-key just fine. I think the only thing I would change is definitely motion blur. Because motion blur just sucks. I hate it so much. It just isn't good for anybody. And I think that's just, you know, that's a me thing after that. So the rest of this is just key binds and everything like that. Auto target and all the good stuff so you could you know change all your quick casts and stuff like that really just depends uh key assignments all the good stuff i'm going to change my key assignments for sure because i don't like the way that my key assignments are so or at least my quick moves are and stuff like that so uh after that to party up all you have to do is just set up this to the party id set up a party id create a playlist and then kind of like get the players in there over here you have the battle pass which only goes up to 30 and this is kind of like your only way of getting free to play premium currency or just by getting premium currency in general and if you want to buy the battle pass that's up to you the way that you make these points is by weekly missions as you can see here these are your beginning missions these are your battle pass weekly missions Uh, that stuff's just going to give you a lot of the materials you're going to need to actually max out your units and stuff like that. As you can see, these are your three currencies. This is for upgrading. This is for buying stuff from the shop. And this is from buying stuff from the premium shop. All right. These are your characters. Your characters are red attackers, green are tanks, and then supports are going to be your blues. Uh, to unlock characters, we'll get to that whenever we get to the actual shop aspect of things. Helpers are... Uh, locked to the very specific defense uh, attack and, you know, all this good stuff. So this really just depends on what class you're running at that time. You'll definitely want these very specific characters all unlocked as soon as possible. Uh, over here we have the capsules. The only downside is uh, you cannot unlock legendary stuff unless you get the endgame capsules. So to get the endgame capsules, I'll explain right now. Right after I explain the drop rates, because a lot of people are not going to understand this, but you can only get legendaries from the special capsules, not from the normal ones. Don't expect legendaries. Okay? Okay. Now, this is your shop. Your shop is going to change daily. This is the good shop. Uh, this You could get some daily helpers. Up to you. You could 
spend on special cases doesn't matter. Not really, because your hero shop is the shop that you're actually going to be using. Now, the hero shop is going to be based off of getting these purple currency tokens that you get from either completing achievements, uh, unlocking characters, and all that good stuff. The only problem is you have tier 2 units that are more expensive right now. So, for instance, right now I'm at tier 1. To get to tier 2, you got to spend all these tokens in order to get to tier 2. So, every expense at tier 1 which means buying all these characters and a bunch of these boxes is the way that you're going to complete the game. These do change weekly, I believe. I think these are going to be weekly because there's no way we're stuck here. Either weekly or daily, one of the two. They have not explained that tidbit. Uh, you see, used for unlocking heroes. Star collection rewards. Over here is your star collection of rewards. This is where you get those purple tokens. Star collection rewards are given to you based off of getting duplicates and upgrading to something new. Whenever it comes down to characters, though, that's how you also get bonus cases. As you can see, upgrade details. This is also how you could get some special capsule cases just by playing the character a lot. Mastering the character will get you your seven Dragon Balls, unlocking your special capsule corpses uh, cases. Uh, with these guys, though, it's not really the same. You're mostly just going to get this currency, not that big of a deal. Same thing with stamps, clothing, and everything else whenever you get duplicates. That, then you'll get more star currency. So it's all like pity at the end of the day. That's going to lead all into the same exchange shop. All right. That pretty much does it for, like, everything about the game. And that only took me about... Uh, how long did that take me? That took me like six minutes. That was easy. All right. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there for you guys so you guys can enjoy it. Take it easy, dudes, and peace out. Okay, we're in our first match. This is kind of where you select your unit. After you select a unit, then you select your buff. If you don't own the other buff, then that's just kind of tough. And to get the legendary buffs, you kind of have to uh, pay to win for that to get the really, really nice stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be very tough. Uh, this game, I expect it to end up just like in the same position as a game like My Hero Ultra Rumble, where it's got more of a dedicated community than it does a community of normal, like, Dragon Ball fans. Because, obviously, this is just, like, one of those games where you know in the beta it's going to be super nice and super sweet, and they're going to hook you up with some good stuff. And then after the beta, it's Sorry, just going to go late. back to normal. Oh, that dude's already... Trunks and cooler already? What? Come, mortal. I'll fulfill your Three, wish and strike two, you from existence one. itself. Okay, so in this game, normally, whenever My it comes down to it, you have to uh, defeat the enemies and all that good stuff and just collect as much resources as you can before the other team actually does. So you're going to be in a you're going to be in a position of uh you're going to be in a bad spot if you don't actually focus on defeating enemies as soon as possible. All right. You have towers to defend and all that good stuff. So just pay attention to your towers and you should be fine. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's okay, you can strike me down. I don't care. I'm going to do this. There we go. Now I'm going to take this. All right, come on then, Trunks. Come on then, Trunks. Nope. Yep, and you're mine. And you're dead. All right, what's up? I'm healing now because you guys suck. See, Zamasu's passive is actually to heal himself. Oh, cooler, so cooked. <laughs> Take my divine wrath. Now, whenever, uh, whenever the, uh, there's this little thing called Zeno. Zeno's kind of attacking the different spots randomly. Uh, it's either they attack now or they attack later. So as you can see, we're attacking the base right now, but we do have to be careful because this could lead to us getting hurt pretty badly. Especially if they defeat us. All right, let's do this. Ooh, yeah. You could also dodge. Uh, dodging is very useful if you need to dodge like a big attack or something like that. Come here.
All right, as you can see, Nappa just spawned, so I definitely have to go kill Nappa real quick. All right, uh, catch up to this fool. And you're dead. Oh, darn it, Piccolo. All right, it's fine. I can take this dude on. Oh no, great. Uh, as you can see, these bosses are pretty much how you get some dope bonuses. If you do not defeat these bosses and you let the enemy defeat them, then you're gonna have a real problem right on your hands for sure. Oh damn it, see right there, freaking Nappa's gotta be just a whole different being for some reason. All right, you're definitely dead in my eyes. Boom. Perish. Uh, he's just gonna play. He's gonna be weird like that. I'm not gonna fight him. Obviously, they have turret coverage, so if you do not focus on turret coverage, they're gonna mess you up bad. They're aiming for my turret, but that's okay. I'll let them do it. Ooh. Your mind trunks. Oh yeah, I'm going so comp in this. Laser eyes don't do anything to me. Slow down. And you're gone. You dare defy a god? You don't really have to defeat like the small beings after so long. It's mostly the big ones that matter a lot more. They give you uh, HP and power and stuff like that. So that's the important stuff. And we just lost another freaking thing. Darn it. Jocko's on his way, so we are going to have to take away Jocko. That's ridiculous. All right, come on. Your fate! Accept the punishment of the gods! Oh yes, I love that. That goes so cold. Come on then, come on then. Nope, you freaking failed so hard. Perish! Alright, this is a good time to take on Jacko. Jacko. Come on, we gotta take this. Alright, come on now, fight me. You're perish. <laughs> I'm already so fed, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, now the Ozaru is about to spawn, which is the biggest HP pool out of all the characters that you could get from here. So now this is where, like, the real worth comes. 
Taking on the Ozaru could be useful, but if they're on the push, then it's going to be very hard to deal with them as well. All right. Trunks, you can't even save your own timeline. What makes you think you're going to be able to defeat me? I shall deliver the final blow. Oh no! They broke through your god of destruction! That's fine. Come here, boy. Perish. I'll give you a hand with your death. My team is low-key selling right now, for sure. now <laughs> there's nothing we can do about Zeno but we could stop them from getting here All right, the team's going after the top. That's going to make sure they don't try to back cap. All right, now we should be able to get the the attack back on from here. Oh, no, they're going to go back top. Oh, the second one's going to go bottom. Okay. Here we go. Oh, dang it. They want to double team me? Fine. All right, come on, then. Come on, then. You want to double team me? Fine. You darn fool. Die! The punishment of the gods. Oh no! They broke through your god of destruction! This ends here. Nice job! You broke through the god of destruction! I am the winner! <laughs> Damn it, I gotta defend the base. Oh. That is so hard. Not good. They've broken through all your guns of destruction. Protect the dragon balls. This is a you did it! You broke through all their guns of destruction! Now, this looks bad! No, they're gonna take it! Dang it, they took the Dragon Ball. GG's. You should feel honored. My team did very, very bad. It's all right. Glad I was able to help out. Kid Gohan's very crazy. All right. Well, that's a GG's. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay aspect of it, even though I lost. <laughs> Peace.